So uh, I have another story that involves some lawmakers. 400 lawmakers around the world wrote a letter to Jeff Bezos talking about how they don't like his uh, work practices, right? They don't like the fact that he doesn't pay taxes, that he treats his employees like shit, um, that he doesn't pay his employees too much, uh, and all around that he's he's a bad person. And they wrote a letter, right? This is what seventh graders are encouraged to do. They 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 write these letters to to you know tell people that oh you've made people feel bad. Now here's my issue with this. Uh, this is all part of hashtag Make Amazon Pay. Right. They wrote this letter. They did a video. It went up on Twitter. Everybody was like, yay, we're finally doing something about Amazon. And in reality, uh, we're not doing something about Amazon. Um, 400 global lawmakers basically came out and recognized, and this was as far as they got, is that they recognized uh, the issue with Amazon, something that a lot of content creators, uh, from myself to Eleanor Goldfield, Lee Camp, um, you know, Jimmy Dore, Ron Placone, Graham Elwood, Kim Ivers, they've all talked about corporate malfeasance, specifically in the case of, of Jeff Bezos, who is on his way to be a trillionaire. The man made an additional $72 billion in, during a pandemic just to his personal wealth. He increased his personal wealth by $72 billion just in the span of eight months alone. That's an astronomical amount of money. And this guy can't pay his employees. He has draconian work, work policies. And he, I think in 2019, paid 1.2% of tax. How is that? What? Like, What? And that's because the, the there are corporate loopholes that are put into place so that he can protect his money. There's various different ways uh, that he can protect his money. Various different ways that we don't know about. Like, we are not privy to those various different ways. So these lawmakers fucking wrote a letter to him, made a little video to him, which I guarantee he's not going to read and he's not going to watch. What you, what you, what you could have done is 400 global lawmakers could have come together and made a law. You know, do the thing that you're fucking supposed to do. And and say, look, if you make over a specific amount of money, if your company is making hundreds of billions of dollars, then your minimum wage is $30 an hour. Uh, you have to follow these specific safety guidelines. And because you can't, we're going to put monitors to make sure that you are following, we're going to put government, you know, regulations on you to to make sure that you do follow these safety guidelines, do that you do follow these work guidelines. For every time that you're penalized, we're going to take 25% of your company's revenue and give it to your workers anyway. So either you either you can just pay them the 30 bucks an hour, treat them properly, give them health care, or we can just Take them, penalize you for it, and give them give them that money anyway. It's up to you. Also, if you're going to make over a specific billion of dollars, then uh, we're going to tax you at a much higher rate. I think if you make if you make over a billion dollars, over one billion dollars, which a billion is is an astronomical amount of number. It's an exponentially larger number than a million. That's what I don't think people truly understand, is just one singular billion is exponentially larger than one singular million. I take care of this elderly lady. Some of you guys know that, right? In the evenings, I take, uh, I hang out with her and get her food and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, But she watches Wheel of Fortune. The big amount on Wheel of Fortune is $1 million. Chump change. Jeff Bezos wipes his nose with a million dollars because it's nothing to him. So if you make over a billion dollars, the second that you make a billion and one, we're taxing you at 90%. Seems fair. You have way more money than you need to live. Way more money. 
there's no reason. And then in 2017 and 2018, he paid zero dollars in taxes because of uh, what was it? Returns and uh, def what, or what? What? What is the what is the tax term called? If you guys know the tax term, to in some of the tax terms, leave that in the comments because I'm I'm blanking on them. But basically, he found some loopholes uh, and and had to pay zero in taxes. A dude that's that that is clear uh, that is on his way to be a trillionaire, which is another exponential jump, and people are just okay with it. And lawmakers are like, "We'll write a letter." You know what will stop this guy? A letter, a nice letter saying you've been a bad person, and we don't like it. So if you could stop being a bit, you know, that doesn't work. Your lawmakers use your fucking power. You have power to actually make a law on a global scale. 400 of you seem to be working together to fucking craft a fucking letter. You guys don't think 400 of you can come together and craft a simple, clear law that tells this dude that he needs to pay his workers better, create better work conditions that are less draconian, that are less uh, fucking dark ages because we've come out of those times. And and to pay your taxes properly? Dude, if Jeff Bezos alone paid the taxes that he is actually supposed to fucking pay, we would be able to cover health care. We would be able to erase debts and cancel rents probably and feed everybody in this planet. You could I easily say the fact that Jeff Bezos is a greedy, self-centered piece of shit that has taken every government loophole, that has taken every government handout to make himself richer, to make his workers suffer more, is the reason why America is the way that it is. He is the embodiment. He is the embodiment of capitalism in and of itself. It is a reckless economic system. It is a violent economic system. It is a greedy economic system that is built not on prosperity, but on the suffering of a majority of people. And Jeff Bezos is the shining fucking example of that. And these lawmakers that have the power to restrain this person essentially took that power and said, we're going to write a letter. We're going to kneecap ourselves and show this guy how feckless we really are. Write a law. I read the letter um, yesterday, and there are zero mentions of the hundreds of strikes against Amazon, including Christian Smalls, who, if you don't remember who Christian Smalls is, he was uh, working in the Staten Island uh, Amazon Fulfillment Center. Somebody, two people got COVID. He told upper management, upper management told him to ignore it uh, and to keep, you know, putting shit in boxes and getting them on the fucking trucks. And he didn't want to risk his life or the life of his fellow workers, uh, organized a strike and then they fired him. Now they claim they fired him because he went against COVID regulations, which fucking makes zero sense when he was very much advocating for, you know, better treatment of employees during a, a, a fucking pandemic. And, Amazon's higher ups were like, nah, just ignore it. Don't worry about it. So it was just lie after lie. And in this letter by 400 fucking <laughs> lawmakers across the globe, they mentioned nothing about that. Nothing about hundreds and thousands of Amazon workers being like, we're fucking done with this dude. You want to show that you represent the people yet make no mention of the people. It's it, this is just another platitude to to attempt to get reelected. That's that's really all I see this as. And some of the major progressives are behind this, right? Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, AOC, fucking Ro Khanna, and all all these people on principle I agree with, right? The the platitudes they spit out I agree with. Once it comes down to making a decision and making a law and voting for something that actually matters, they fail. Time and time again they fail. CARES Act is a major example of that. That's a corporate giveaway. 
And there was only one person within the Democratic Party that was on the progressive side of the Democratic Party that came up and said, we need to give UBI and approve Medicare for all. This is an emergency situation. There are people suffering and struggling to get by. And every single Democrat basically looked at Nancy Pelosi, who said, fuck that. We're never going to do a UBI. We're never going to do Medicare for all. Uh, and you're wrong. Every single Democrat, including the progressive ones, didn't get behind Pramila Jayapal to fight for UBI and Medicare for all, even though they say that they believe in it. They say that this is a stance. So it's shit that they just say in order to get votes to go back into office and make hundreds of thousands of dollars more than any fucking American uh, working class employee. They're making hundreds and thousands of dollars more a year than the typical Amazon employee. And this comes down to another fucking platitude. You have the power to make a law and say we're going to enforce it. And you chose not to. You chose to do something. You chose to try to make Jeff Bezos into your fucking legislative pen pal. Where's he going to fucking write the letter back to you and be like, dear lawmakers? I've been thinking really, you're right. That is really mean. I'm going to think really hard about how to make these work. You know what? I'm going to get them all iPhones. But I'm going to deduct that from their pay. They're not going to get a holiday bonus. And they'll still have to have food stamps and stand in food lines and not be able to afford health care. But at least they'll have a new iPhone. kind of pathetic Jen uh, Bezos is a monster I don't even have word for him uh, words for him yeah he's a modern day uh, slave master right they've they, it's it's another way that slavery itself is transformed it becomes wage slavery you don't you you pay people just barely enough for for them to say okay I can live on this um but it doesn't cover much else. Uh, all of the expenses uh, are, you know, overwhelming to how much they're actually getting paid. Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Uh, he's also using the post office for additional shipping. Pretty sure the government appreciates it. Yeah, it puts more stress on the post office. Um, and I bet the post office isn't getting any sort of additional funding for for that. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't believe that they are... Uh, the, there's a 2006 law that uh, basically said that they have to prepay, uh, you know, retirements and pensions for everybody that they're going to hire in the future and the people that they have now. Uh, and it's crippled the post office. And then on top of that, you have uh, you have shit like this where where Amazon is going to use the post office for additional shipping and uh, they're trying to take over the shipping and fulfillment side of things themselves uh, and the post office gets overburdened and they get overstressed. They don't have the funding to cover additional staffing costs and everything like that. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm sure the government's like, yay, because because both there's a bipartisan effort to fuck the post office. And uh, that there, there are videos on my channel uh, talking about that sort of stuff. Jen, every single person I know who works in the Amazon Fulfillment Center has to have tested positive for COVID. Not surprising. Um, that's what I mean. I mean, meat packing plants are, are, are in the same, same boat. Any sort of factory work is in the same boat. There's no one enforcing these, these laws. Y you know, uh, if our lawmakers are not making laws that say you're going to get penalized and you're going to cover the charges of, um, all the hospital bills of the people that get COVID, uh, and you're going to give them paid time off, um, and we're going to penalize you on top of that for creating a public health issue. And you're not going to enforce it, but instead you're going to write a fucking letter. There's no wonder that corporations and rich people get to get away with as much as they do. Who's enforcing it? Who's watching over them? Who's, who's making sure that they're actually following the rules that they're supposed to? Nobody at this point. They're they're essentially paying lawmakers to write laws. They're paying lawmakers to write them letters and make it look like, oh, these lawmakers are on the side of the public. When when in reality, this is this is a publicity stunt at best. 
Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that, uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to, to, to address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, and that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.